destined them for their sport. Now I know destined isn't really a verb, but it sounded right in the title, so I use it as a verb. Um, and, you know, I, I, I have to admit, every time, I've worked as a, a radio or TV commentator at every Olympics since 1988, worked for Westwood One, NBC, and as soon as I get to the Olympics, and they put on the, the internal computer all the athletes, 10,500 of them, I go through all their names because <laughs> uh, I'm looking for the best names. And, you know, like, uh, I mean, before I read you this list, there are a couple names I have to mention. Um, there was, uh, in 1904 and 1908, lacrosse was in the Olympics. And in 1904, the St. Louis Olympics, one of the teams was Mohawk, a team of Mohawk Indians from Ontario, Canada. Well, one of those players from the Mohawk team, his name was Man Afraid Soap. And I just thought, he earned that name for some awful reason. <laughs> and that he probably, he probably missed an opportunity to be a real star in a bunch of other sports, because would you want to wrestle against a guy named Man Afraid Soap, or, or even tackle him in a football game? So, and then, the only other one I'll mention from, this was a list of noteworthy names, was the two American rowers in 1976 who won the coxless pairs. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you know, there's a coxswain who calls the strokes, and if there's no coxswain, it's called the coxless pairs. And so in 1976, the silver medals were won by Calvin Coffey and Mike Staines. And so on the digital scoreboard, it said Coffey Staines. And I always felt, you know, some people with strange names are only strange when you pronounce them in English. So in those same Olympics, there was a hammer thrower from Greece named Cleonathus Eurystiatus. Well, if you say that in English, his name is Clean This. So I thought he should have gotten together with coffee and stands. <laughs> but anyway, this one list I want to read to you about people who were destined for a certain sport. In 1908, uh, Great Britain entered uh, a guy named Louis Moist. Obviously, he was a swimmer. And he took part in the 1500 meter freestyle. Four years later, the Brits again entered Walter Bath, who won two gold medals in the uh, breaststroke. Then, 1996, 110 meter hurdles from the United States, Eugene Swift. And by the way, there was another uh, hurdler from Russia named, again, if you pronounce it in English, Galina Stepanova. So, <laughs> Sweden in the 1900 marathon, Ernest Fast. And Ernest Fast actually was fast because he won the bronze medal. Uh, in 2000, the U.S. was represented in the high jump by Nathan Leeper. And finally, um, uh, there was Samson Nadika Matam, who competed in three Olympics, once for Cameroon, twice for France. I don't have to tell you, Samson was, of course, a weightlifter. Um, so, that's the end of my speech.